Good old Monday, it never fails to come back around and end the weekend. Hello vapers and vapies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about bazooka e-liquid. <laughs> Yes, so today I have three flavors by Bazooka E-Liquid. This is Bazooka Sour Straws. I have strawberry right here, watermelon, and green apple. These sound really yummy, and I love those sour straws, especially at the movie theater, to have those when I'm watching a movie. And oh my god, these things are huge. Alright guys, so in these boxes are these huge 200 milliliter bottles of E-Liquid. They do come with two 15 mil unicorn bottles in here. These are 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol liquids. These are available in 0, 3, and 6 milligrams nicotine. I'll show you what you get in here. It's very nicely packaged. Let's see if I can take it out nicely. Maybe. So, and this one. Take this thing off. Oh my gosh. Check that out. And then here is the two 15 ml bottles that it comes with for this flavor. Here is a close-up of the 200 ml bottle. And the 15 ml bottle. Here's a close-up of the box packaging. Very nice presentation. Please excuse any background noise you hear. My cat Taz is in the other room playing with his toy. So his little jingle bell feather toy and I can't really stop him from doing it unless I like lock him up, but then he just cries the whole time. But it's okay, we're gonna get through this video. All right, so here is 600 milliliters of e-liquid right here. We're gonna go ahead and try them, and I'll just try the strawberry first since strawberry is my favorite out of these three flavor profiles. Honestly, I don't know what this is gonna look like, so let's take a peek. Oh my god. <laughs> the littlest tip right there. I am testing these flavors out with my Troll RDA today, but if you don't have an RDA and you do want to do some flavor testing of different types of e-liquids, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. You just put a couple drops of the e-liquid down in there, put a drip tip on top, and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. They're super easy to use, cheap and disposable. I used to use these all the time in my flavor videos until I moved on to the world of RDAs. I will leave a link below to these if you're interested in checking them out to flavor test for yourself. I feel ridiculous like holding this giant bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh well, very easily squeezed. Very much a VG e liquid, too. Come on, cotton, soak it up. Mmm, oh my god, this smells so good. It smells just like the sour straw candies that I have had at the movie theater. I mean, you could have them at anywhere else but like at the store but I just remember always liking to have them at the movies All right here we go with the strawberry sour straw mmm oh MG. It tastes just like the sour straw, except for I get a lot more realistic strawberry flavor, like almost like a real strawberry mixed with a gummy candy straw. Because like the artificial flavors of those straw candies, you, you can tell. But this is like more like a realistic gummy strawberry candy, and there's like a little bit of sour. I'm always apprehensive when trying sour e-liquids because I don't really like that like a vape it kind of it almost has the same effect cinnamon used to have on me but I'm happy to say that the sour isn't overwhelming but it's definitely like you know it is a sour strawberry straw say that five times fast sour strawberry straw <laughs> mm, yum I I just like that's what its name is is what it tastes like it tastes like a gummy strawberry sour straw Clouds, bitch. And I could definitely see this flavor giving me my candy fix if I was in like craving something gummy, something chewy and strawberry. Next, we are moving on to Bazooka Sour Straws Watermelon. OMG. I just get a kick out of this tiny little nipple on this huge thing. Mmm. Smells like a Jolly Rancher. Mmm. Definitely getting that watermelon. Like I said, it kind of smells and tastes this way. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher flavor. You get a little bit of the gummy vibe. I felt more of a chewy gummy candy vibe from the strawberry. And then you get a really light sour note to it. This one seems a little less sour 
than the strawberry one. But you definitely can detect that it is a sour watermelon gummy flavor. And this one is great too. I just prefer strawberry flavors over watermelon flavors. Very smooth throat hit. Ooh, hello guys. So definitely can produce massive cloud without any throat irritation. Next we are trying the sour green apple flavor. Whoa, this one smells so much more than the other two because like it was kind of hard to smell them through the little tiny nipple on top Like I just wait till I put it on the cotton to smell it, but this one you cannot mistake the green apple scent Ooh. A plus for the green apple flavor and I also feel like this one might be the most like sour flavored of them all And it's definitely unmistakably green apple. It's a definitely a fresh green apple Like I feel like with all of these they were more of like a fresh Realistic fruit flavor versus an artificial candy flavor, which is great. That's always a plus But this one definitely has a little bit more sour. It's not too much sour It's just noticeably more than the other two I feel like and you can definitely tell that it's a gummy candy and I like that like I love that texture like that I always get that gummy candy craving sometimes and these would definitely satisfy my sweet tooth in that area mmm this one is great too but like I predicted from the very beginning the strawberry is definitely my favorite but that's because I prefer strawberry flavor profiles over most other fruits mmm this one's a lot like you can detect the gummy chewy candy vibe from it too as well and I feel like I would like the strawberry one then the green apple and then the watermelon like in order first to last they are all really good I want to know if you've tried these flavors let me know down in the comments below if you've had them and what you thought of them I will leave a link below to where you can get the ginormous bottle plus the two 15 mil bottles in that little box for $50 but that's it for today's video just three flavors so we got a quick one today I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos that are not vaping related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Kasa.org, follow NotBlowingSmoke.org, the AVA, Esfata, and all the multitude of vaping organizations out there to help you learn how to fight for your right to vape. It's really important if you love vaping because we are under attack so badly right now. It's pretty depressing. But with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. I managed to keep Taz out of the room with this little squirty bottle. I just have to. I mean, I know you guys like Taz, but he really interrupts the videos and it takes me almost twice as long because literally I'll set him down and he'll jump back up. And I'll set him down and he'll jump back up. And I just gotta get through the video. Gotta be professional to a certain level, right? But having Taz every once in a while isn't gonna bother me, so.